So do y'all remember yesterday when I showed you that cool video about the monkey? Yeah. yeah. Do you remember what we said about the monkey? Yeah. 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 This was under the bed. He was under the bed. He was in all these different places, right? Yeah. He was in front of the door. And he was in front of the door. Uh, yeah. And he was sitting on the window. Okay, so and do you remember what? He was in the TV, and he's in the head. I know, he was in all these different places. And what, do you remember what I called those places? Do you remember? It started with a P. Anybody? Place. Positional words. And do you remember what I said that those do? They tell where something is, right? Okay, so I'm going to show you all a little video about Rosie's walk, okay? And then we're going to talk about it. All right. Who's my light person? Kevin, will you turn the lights off, please? Rosie's walk. She was walking. She was walking. Okay, 
So guys, we're going to learn about positional words today, and these are things that tell you, tell where something is, okay? So Rosie went over the beehive. She went through the fence. She went across the yard. And back to this house. And back and right back in time for dinner, right, Justin? And, and, over, the, and over the hay. And over the hay. Good job. Okay, so we're going to do this anchor chart together, okay? And we're going to use our pictures to tell us where something is, wherever the arrow is pointed to, okay? Does that sound like fun? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show you the words that we're going to use <laughs> before we start, okay? And I'm going to have friends come up here and put them on here if, you're, if you can get it correct, okay? Set. What is this word? Can we read it together? Oh. Oh. Good job, Daisy. Okay, so we're gonna, this is one word, and then we're gonna put it in here in a minute, okay? What is this word? Beside. Beside. Can anyone tell me what beside means, India? It means somebody right beside you. Somebody's right beside you, so it would be like someone sitting right here. So it's someone sitting next to you on the carpet, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. What about this word? This says a Above. So can someone please say, show me where above is? Is it up here? Yeah. All right. Okay, so the opposite of above would be under. So can someone show me where under is? Can we do it with our hands? Under. Good job, guys. Okay. Okay, this one. This is two words, and it says in between. In between. So right, India just India just pointed right in between her legs. She says this is in between. So this would be if someone so Ricardo, raise your hand, Ricardo, is sitting in between Evelyn and India. Did y'all see that? Yeah. All right. And then another word. This word. This is three different words, okay? And it says in front of. Can what someone guess and tell me what in front of means? Uh, no, no, no. Shh, raise your hand. In front, in front. Tell us. In front. In front. So she pointed right in front of her into the square in front of her square. Okay, so that was in front. So now let's read these. We've gone through all of our words. We have in front of, point to in front of you. Point to beside you. Point to the person or in between you. Can you point in between? Under, point under, point above, and on. So you're on your square or your chair. On Either one, you're on it, okay? On so now let's read through these and y'all tell me which word you think, but raise your hand, okay? Don't call out. So let's read it together, okay? The cat is blank. So this is where we're going to put a word, the desk. So, someone raise their hand, here's the cat, and here's the desk. Can someone raise their hand and tell me where the cat is? Christina, using our words, we have beside, is the cat beside the desk? Yeah. Look, is she beside? No, I don't Is she under? Yeah. Is she on? Yeah. Which word do we think it is, Justin? On. Under. Good job. You want to put it right here for me? Thank you, Justin. All right, so let's go on to the next one. The clouds are up there. The house. Here's the house. Here's the clouds. Which one do we think it is? Under. Belinda. Which one do you think it is? We have in front of. Yeah. Beside. Beside. Yeah. Annalene, this is for Belinda. Okay. Above, which one do you think? Above. Above. Good job. Do you want to come put it up here for me? Put it right there on the blank. Good job. Okay, let's go to the next one. Ready? You're going to read it with me? The dog is, we're going to put a word here, the trees. Raise your hand. Here are two trees, and here's the dog. Jacorian. Which word do you think it is? In between. In between. Good job. You want to come put it up here? Okay. The next 
one. The hat is, we'll put a word, the snowman. Here's the snowman. Here's the hat. Luis, can you tell me which word it is? On. Good job. There's only two left, all right. Oh, you pull up and down. There you go. All right, thank you. The next one. Oh. The crab is blank. Wait. The ball. Here's the crab, and there is the ball. I don't know what it is. And um, this one. Carlos, you, would you want to come show me which one it is? That one. This one? In front of? Yeah. All right, will you come put it up here for me? Thank you. We have our last one. Let's read it and make sure it's still right. I could have tripped y'all. The girl is... Beside! The boy. Good job, Kevin. You want to come put it up here? You shout it out. Thank you. Okay, now let's read it all together and make sure it makes sense, okay? You ready? The cat is under the desk. Is the cat under the desk right here? No. All right. The clouds are above the house. Are the clouds above the house? Yeah. The dog is in between the trees. Yeah. Is the dog in between the trees? Yeah. All right. The hat is on the snowman. Is the hat on the snowman? Yeah. All right. The crab is in front of the ball. Is the crab in front of the ball? Yeah. And the the girl is beside the boy. boy. The girl beside the boy? Yeah. No. No. Yes, she yeah. is. Look, right beside. No. So oh, yeah. this is something that y'all can use in your classroom, and whenever you need to know what a word means, you can look at this chart, okay? And they are, what are positional words? Someone raise their hand and tell me what they are. Louise. Position. So you want to wear something. All right, good job. Okay, so now let's do, we're going to do a little activity, okay? Yay. <laughs> Lunch is later, yes. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to give you a direction, and then you're going to take the girl, and you're going to move her to where I tell you based on the word that I use, okay? So let me get out the directions. All right. I'm going to call on you, so don't. All right. Move the girl beside the chicken. Who thinks? Raise your hand. They can move the girl beside the, the chicken. chicken. Oh, Andrew, you can move the girl beside the chicken. Either chicken. Good job. Okay, guys, is her girl beside the chicken? Yeah. No. Where's the chicken? It's front. And is she beside him? No. Here she is. Or this, she's beside this chicken too. Okay. Move the girl between the cows. I don't. Who? Is there a cow? Christina, will you come move the girl between the cows? You can do it. Good job. Okay, is, did she move the girl between the cows? Yes. Yeah. Good job, Christina. Okay, move the girl above the barn. Move it. Ileana. Above the barn. Can you reach up there? Good job. Is the girl above the barn? No. Yeah, there's a chicken. And there's another chicken up there. No, that's the rooster. Move the girl in front of the fence. Annalene? In 
front of the fence. You see the fence? The fence is down there. Here, move her. Anyone want to help her? The fence isn't right here. This is the path. So where's the fence? You see it? There's some hay bales down there, too. Want some help from a friend? Yeah? Stella, can you help her move the girl in front of the fence? Wait, you gotta use the screen. You gotta Good job. Okay, now the girl is in front of the fence. Thank you, girls. Alright. Who can move the girl behind the fence? I'll be sitting quiet. Behind the fence. Behind. Look at our, look right here. Oh, we don't have behind on here. What did we say behind was a, was, this is in front of. What do you think behind means, Mr. Corian? Like this. Behind. So she's in front of the fence now. Where should we put her? Behind. Right. So can you just drag her up here and see if she'll go over here in front of this cow? Good job. Now she's behind the fence. Thank you. All right. Move the girl below the farm sign. Justin, can you move the girl below the sign? Do you know where the sign is? All right. Can you move the girl below the sign? Awesome job, Justin. All right. Move the girl outside of the barn. Kevin? Outside of the barn. Okay, you know. Anywhere outside of the barn. That works. Is she outside of the barn? No. Yes, she is. Good job, Kevin. All right. And move the girl on the hay bale. Pascal? On the hay bale. Where's the girl? Here. Can you move her on a hay bale? You know what a hay bale looks like, Pasquale? Oh, it is the same. It's only got a little They're hair. yellow. The yellow. Yeah, it's yellow. The yellow. The yellow there. Move her on a hay bale. Oh, yeah. You want some help from a friend? I'll oh, yeah. help You want some help from a friend? Oh, oh, oh help you already did one, Justin. Sit down. Oh, India, will you help? Good job. All right, so those are all the things that we were going to move the girl to, okay? Is there any anywhere else you think you can move the girl? Yeah. Besides what I said, Ricardo. Tell me another place you think you can move the girl. You can say any of, using any of these words. In the front of the tree. In front of the tree. That's a good one, Kevin. Uh, we're not going to move her. We're just going to talk about it. On, where, where else could you put her? We already put her on a hay bale. Could you put her on, what else? Yeah. What else is on here? You could put her on, what's this? Pumpkin. A pumpkin. You could put her on a cow. That'd be kind of silly though, right? Mm -hmm. you put, yeah. put her on a bird. Okay. Yeah, you could. Put her up there next to the bird. She'd be flying. You want to do it? Okay. Put her up there. Thank you. It's too high. Okay, guys. So we just used positional words to move the girl all over this, um, all over the farm, okay? The farm, so she went the on top of the hay bale and outside of the barn, below the sign, in between the cows, okay? So and now what we're going to do, you know we're going to do now? We're going to go to our seats and use our Google Classroom and move some things around. Does that sound like fun? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay? All right, so I'm going to call you to your seat by your rows, okay? Um, purple row, you may go to your seat. You get your computer. Blue row, you may go to your seats and go to your computer. Green row, but don't go anywhere yet. Wait until I tell you, okay? Green row, you may go. Or already called blue. Okay, no, 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 no. Red row. Red row. 
you got your seat. Yeah. If you're on a stool or a chair, you may go to your seat. Yeah. Delvin, I'm gonna split you guys up. Yeah. Delvin. Okay, guys, once you're sitting at your computers and quiet, we'll move on, okay? Top corner. Don't go ahead. All right. Col colorful square in the top corner. Click your chalkboard.
the number one in the corner and with the green circle. Blue circle. Sorry, blue circle. With the blue circle, okay? Now I want you to move the cat beside the blue circle. Click and drag using your mouse pad, remember? look like that crab. You know? You don't know? Are you trying to remember which one? Here, click and drag it and see. In front of the red circle. Use two hands, remember? It's hard. Good job. 
Right. Are we ready? Hands on our head, in front of. Now y'all can be using the anchor chart. Hands on your head if you're ready to move on to the last cat. Oh. You ready? Hands on your head. Not everybody's hands are on their heads. So I don't know to move on. Hands on your head. All right. Okay, so find the last square with the four in the corner and the two yellow dots. So move the cat in between the two yellow dots. In between. Put him again where you thought he went. I don't remember. Where you had him. Awesome job, Jessica. Yeah. Have a You just had him there. <laughs> In between, Kevin. All right. Once you've done all your cats, what do we do next? Um, you hit the red X. No, not, not the red X. Not the red. The little. Oh, no. The non red X. The little X. Right. I put the red X. Hit the little X. If you have a green check at the top, that means you did it right. Okay, so once you've done that, you can come back to your seat on the carpet. Ileana? 
to watch the video. Do you remember what? The girl. Oh, the chicken. The chicken, right. So it was called Rosie's Walk. And yeah. she went to all these different places, right? She was on your bottom. Put the girl. Not yet. Put the girl. Put the girl. Put the girl. Put the so we watched Rosie's walk, and we watched the, her walk all the, the way around the farm, right? Mm -hmm. Away the from the fox, fox right? The fox Does any, can walking. anyone give me a couple no. of examples of where she went? Of where she went? Who can raise their hand and tell me somewhere she went? Ricardo. Rosie. The first thing we did. The chicken. You gave one to me earlier, right? About the hay. And what what she do with the hay? She walked over the hay, right? And then what did we do? After we watched Rosie's walk, what was the next step? Delvin, what did we do after we watched Rosie's walk? We watched the video, and then what did we do? We, we made the anchor chart, right? Do you want to read the anchor chart with me one more time? Yeah. All right. This says, positional words tell where something is. Can y'all say that with me? Positional words tell where something is. Okay? Let's read it together one more time. The cat is under the desk. The clouds are above the house. The dog is in between the trees. The hat is on the snowman. The crab is in front of the ball. So what you learned today was about positional words and that they tell you where something is, okay? What did y'all think about the assessment? I mean, the, just the positional words. We put the girl all the way to the farm. Oh, the girl on the farm, too. Justin, do you want to tell us about that? What do we do with that? Uh, we put the girl up to the Above the farm sign. And under the... And under... Under... And we go in... And in front of? Mm -hmm. and behind. behind. Good job, Justin. Mm -hmm. So Justin just told us that we did all those different things with the girl, right? We moved her on top of things and beside things and behind things and in between the cows, right? Mm -hmm. all right. And then what did y'all think about what you did on your, your um, computers? It's good. It's good? You yeah. liked it? Uh, me too. Moving your cat everywhere? Yeah. How do you guys think you did? It, it get, Good? It get, yeah, it get the chicken. How do we not get that chicken? Not the chicken, the cat. You go get, and they get in the booby traps. And he got in the front, and he and 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 Okay, Justin, thank you. Um. So did y'all like your, the thing on the computer? Yeah! Do you think you did a good job? Yeah! Do you think you know what positional words are? Yeah. No! No? Yeah. Okay, one more time, last time. What are positional words? No. They tell where something is, right? Okay, thank you guys. What do y'all tell us how?